Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our uh, tag team campaign. Tag team, tag team all gone wild. Push in. Yeah, gone wild, baby. Sorry, I got a little confused. Are we are we are we still mild or are we wild now? Do you want to make? Know. Do you want to make Protector Kristoff into a commander? Because he's gonna die soon anyway. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, why not? I get to do it. <laughs> okay, let's Ready? see. You, let's see what you roll here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's terrible. Sorry, Dude, you're I just to... you're just rolling crazy now. Look at that shit. That's Christian pretty... Max Lidin, Christoph Ansemborg. I got a siege guy again, so that's nice. But yeah, he's he's pretty crap. We're so far yeah. ahead. I just feel like we just I can try again. Okay, there we go. Three two. <laughs> Three two is slightly better. Yeah, it's slightly yeah. better than the one two. Friedrich von Schoenig. Now, do you want to engage them? I don't think I don't think so. They got that 15k back in them up. We should probably just get out of there. No, we're going to hang out in defensive terrain right next to him. And if he wants to fight us, he can fight us. Why don't we go down to Milan where they can actually help us out? They got 22k down there with, oh. a, with a 3 4 general. Wait, Chen, he heard us. Look, he's coming back. Cologne's coming to merge with us. No way. Really? Maybe he had a move command issued before we told him to attach or something. I'm just or getting lucky that he keeps failing the fort. No, never mind. He's marching right past us. Is he no longer Where? loyal? No, he's still loyal. Where's Aragon's army? Where in the freaking oh, hell he are you? On. Where is he going? He's just going home to chill in Brunswick. You know. You know what? I'm going to send a one stack over there. Just one dude. Check mark on. I'm going to see if I can pick him up. And if you can't, then he's clearly broken. Aren't no, the AI is just smart. Shane, we need to, to engage this army. He's not, uh, he's Would not, you? yeah. Maybe it's a multiplayer <laughs> thing. Maybe because... <laughs> he just doesn't care. Let's set him to no focus and maybe they'll, maybe it'll be different. Well, at least get in the battle, right? At the end of the month here. Shift merge. Go for it. Oh, we took a loan. Whatever. Hey, he's coming. Great. Start the battle. He got black flagged, so he's going Why home. did he get black flagged? His reasons. Okay, no more back-to-back -back nines, you bastard. Okay, here here he comes. He got black flagged again. Paradox, what the fuck is going on? Did you see that? Yeah, he keeps here on he going comes. into Cassell. He's going to get black flagged turn around. Why? Because he's too stupid to realize he can march through to Quebec and be on black flagged in our land. No, but why is he getting black flagged? I don't know why if he's he allowed to move into a province that he doesn't have military access in the first place. Okay, now he's not black flagged. After the battle. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we stopped the siege. That's the important thing. I don't understand, yeah. Arumba. It doesn't make any sense. We're over the leader limit, Shen. We need to get rid of the one, two. Get rid of the one. Fine. Get rid of the one, two that I rolled. I did. I rolled a one, two, one as well. Yeah, whatever. I, I clicked the button like three times. We'll just stay in the capital. Let's just... get some troops Ooh. back. Oh, Ooh. Poland's fighting Bohemia? No, what's this? Poland's fighting Alsace? What is this? It's Poland, Poland versus, versus Hungary. Hungary. Oh, right. Austria versus Hungary. What is that war for, anyway? This Poland. is the Polish conquest of Hungary. Okay. They want Mara Maros. Well, what we need is we need favors with France. We get favors every two years. We need eight years from now, we'll have ten favors. Go to war with Austria. Okay. Sound good? Sure. Uh, were we going to attack Burgundy? Uh, right now? He's got no allies. Yeah, well, our troops are kind of hurt right now. We are uh, negative 2,000 manpower right now. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't think now's a good time. Well, you just, hey, Great Britain. you just a whiner. Oh, yeah. That's me. Oh, man. So, yeah, we have some war exhaustion. Uh, we keep getting called into wars. That's the problem with having lots of allies, is that they just constantly call you into stuff. When is our guy going to die? Never. Hopefully. But then we never become a theocracy. True. Mm -hmm. Just raise some manpower from the nobles. The nobles are giving us some stuff. It's nice. Nice of them. I'm concerned that our claim is going to expire in... Uh, 10 years in Mets. We need to take Mets. They have, they have, need, they have iron, Shen. We need iron. I love iron. 
Rival of Rival Holland. We just did that. That was the last mission that we did. They would accept an alliance. Right now. Why do we have seven relationship slots? We have uh, six automatically, and then we have a temporary plus one until 42. Yeah. Why don't we just ally Holland for free mission? Free 25 points. Okay. See, we're going to run out of power projection. That's why I want to go to war with uh, Burgundy. Burgundy's got 12 troops with 22 manpower. Holland has 14 troops with no manpower. Gross. France declared on Aragon. Wow. The Church of Ulm stands alone, Shen. Do they? Really? Yeah. Why do we why do we stand alone? Because it was 60 opinion with Bohemia, but we don't care about them. Aw, Bohemia, no. Well, they're already at 120 and we can they're gonna it's they're fine. So we stand alone, we gain 15 prestige. Look at our prestige. It's pretty, yeah, it's, it's good. Pretty, it's pretty good. How quick is our aggressive expansion coming back then? 3.3 per year. Very nice. So you want to go to war with Burgundy right now? Well, yeah, soon. First off, I don't think he's going to be able to get military access. Second off, yeah, I want to just kill him. So just do it. Well, we have What's wars. the worst that could happen, right? We have worst war. that could happen. We have war. war exhaustion. I like war exhaustion. Well, that's not going to go away on its own. We have monarch points, Rumba. Monarch points can get rid of that. This is true. Look, I'll even do it right now. There you go. Look at that. 50 monarch points that you didn't even know we had. They're gone now. Okay, so purge of heresy means battles are important. So don't lose any battles, okay? okay. Not even that one stack in Metz. Yeah. Can I don't... get access through Liege? Don't. Sure we can. No, don't. <laughs> You're not actually thinking about whoa, doing whoa, that. Whoa, 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 whoa. When did Provence lose all that land to Burgundy? Look at that. Yeah, I know. I remember Provence was strong for a while. I don't... I mean, I think it got returned. We should that, go siege Burgundy. You know when that was? Notice how Provence doesn't have cores on that land? I think that when they were at war with Saxony... Sorry, Savoy? Savoy made them return territory to Bohemia. Oh, to you're Bo right. To Burgundy. That's terrible. Provence is, a, is just the worst ally. Yeah. So let's dump him. He's got, like, four oh, problems. Man. Well, it's, it's, it's our fault. We didn't help him, so... It's not our fault. He's an idiot. Well, yeah, that's true, but... Can you fight my war for me? Clearly, the answer is no. That shouldn't be a thing, though. Like, you shouldn't be allowed to declare wars that you would obviously get crushed in declaring. You, you just shouldn't be able to. The, the game should be like, no, you're an idiot. <laughs> really? Why does my why does our vassal keep getting black flagged? I don't understand this. It's, he's completely useless, that's why. He tried to help us, but he got black flagged on the way over here, so he had to go home. It's like, well, why is he allowed to move into provinces that are just going to black flag him? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It's this new thing that I saw where, like, you you are... Okay, here comes Burgundy. He's black flagged as well. What the what the hell? It doesn't make any sense. Six shock general is terrifying. Don't worry. We have six morale. <laughs> well, 5.2. Oh, church power? What'd you take? Discipline. Nice. That way you don't need to worry. I worry. Stop worrying. He's got a six shock general. He's we have been living forever. We have, that guy won't die. Five He's point, like our king. 5.28 morale now because we have 100 prestige. That's pretty crazy morale. Yeah, I don't pretty think I've crazy. ever I think I've ever had 5.2 morale in 1538. Where's <laughs> Cologne going? Do you see Cologne's army? He's just wandering around. He's on a tour of Austria right now. <laughs> A three-hour tour? Mm-hmm. You understand that reference, right? No, I don't. What is it? That's uh, Gilligan's Island. Oh, okay. I've never seen Gilligan's Island. <laughs> we okay. could call Bohemia into this war if you want. Why would we do it's that? He's got lots of favors. More than 20? He's got 17. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with doing that. Well, I mean, we don't need him, but... It could save fine. us... Save time. Yeah, he'll come siege some random fort for us. Which would be good. Yeah, go ahead. Do it. I have no idea where Bohemia's... Uh, sorry, Burgundy's armies went. It's just missing. Yeah, he's, in the, he's in Burgundy, the province of Burgundy. Yeah, Every just, now and then we get vision because France will walk by. Yeah, he's just missing. 
Well, when Luxembourg falls, I mean, we might as well get access through the edge at this point and go siege his capital, Cambrai, because he obviously can black flag through there anyway. And this is like a bug, just being able to black flag through territory without military access. It's got to be a bug. Can we just walk over there? Uh, no. No, we, we can't go over there. So okay. he was able to black flag through there somehow. I don't know. Okay. Magic. Get, get military access if you can. Okay. Means I need a diplomat. Come on! I'm clicking so I know, much! Right? There we Come go. Come on! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what's Bohemia up to? I, he's coming. Bohemia's coming. Mm, yeah, Bohemia's gonna come smash the army in Burgundy. That's great. And we're just gonna send our four four cannons and two siege leader. Do you want to take Mets here? I think we should take Mets here. Sure, we'll seed land to Brunswick. Yeah, Brunswick just keeps migrating west. I mean, he started in the provinces of Brunswick, Hanover, and Hoya. He still has Hoya, but he lost Hanover and he lost his capital, Brunswick. And then he migrated to Munster, and now he's lost <laughs> Munster, so he's migrated west even further to Berg. <laughs> he just keeps conquering west. Mm, he's, one he, old land. He wants to colonize. He's trying to get to the uh, <laughs> get to the water. Gosh. Hey, he almost has he almost has the sea access through Galray. Yeah, almost. Once he gets it, he's gonna he's gonna do the Exodus. He's gonna, gonna be a beast. Gonna move to the New World. We can assist him with his Exodus plans. Yeah, Burgundy's getting started on. Uh, sorry, Bohemia's getting started on Burgundy. Why don't we go crush that one stack? It's gonna be worth three war score. Ah, good point. And it's a cannon because you know you should always siege with. <laughs> 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 Solo cannons. Oh, but look at Bohemia coming over with his little one stacks. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the thing to do. <laughs> so one of the things that I, I had, uh, got 3.9 war score for 3.9 war score. That's pretty good, man. I, uh, I was talking to Wiz about this uh, probably a month or two ago, actually, and it sounded like he liked the idea, so maybe someday this could happen. I was talking to him about the AI, right? And in my mind, there should be two states, two, like, positions that the AI can be in. There's like preparing to push and then ready to push. Very similar to some of the stuff that we saw in Hearts of Iron 4 at the the preview of it. Mm -hmm. Like the, mm -hmm. uh, you know, oh, you can... I found Burgundy's army, by the way. He, he went through Austria as well. He's fighting our vassal in Venice because that makes sense. Yeah. Go on, go on. So in Hoi 4, there's going to be this thing where you like, you create your battlefronts and then they can get preparedness if they're on that battlefront preparing for whatever com campaign you told them. And that okay. basic idea would be really good in EU4. I'm not saying like copy the system, but just have the AI have two internal states where it's either, okay, my armies are in position and they're ready to go, or they're not. And if they're not, it would like choose defensive provinces to rally its troops to, and then train, train new troops behind those defensive positions so that it doesn't train right on the border. You know, a bunch of other stupid stuff. And, Sounds uh, good. He sounded like he liked the idea, so I would love that. Like, for example, if, um, you know, Austria was in prepare mode, they would probably put their troops in the mountains of, like, Tyrol, Salzburg, Lienz, and, like, have that staging ground right there, and then train over near their capital. And everything right. else would be would be kind of, like, internally set to dangerous territory and not train stuff there. Sounds like a plan. I, I would love something like that. They, they may not do something like that simply because they feel like it would be more of a a more recent, a more modern concept, like maybe that just wasn't done in this time period. But I think that's a brilliant idea. I would love to see that happen, yeah. But that would that would make the AI a lot more competent in the game, and then we would be out of jobs. That'd be good, though. Because then we could, we could go on vacation, permanent vacation. I would love another cruise. Where did you go, by the way? Was it Eastern Caribbean, Western Caribbean? Where'd you go? Uh, I saw Jamaica, I saw Grand Cayman, Mexico, and Haiti. It's the Western Caribbean. It's a good, it's a good cruise. I like that. Oh yeah. Right here. So we can't take two provinces, Shen. No, I wasn't planning on two. I was planning on Mets and then Humiliate and War Reps, which I think sixty war score or something like that. We'll get there. Venice is sieging our land. What are you doing, Venice? Go away. <laughs> oh, here comes Bur Burgundy. Yeah, watch out, six shock. I'm not scared. We have. 17 morale. Oh, no, he just wants to unseat his capital. Well, you can you can try. <laughs> He's at negative 21, Seven. we're at positive 14. We'll finish first. 17 morale. That's all that matters. We have 17 morale, Shan. How do we have 17 morale? It's just the math that I've done. You've hey, done look. math. Hey, look, he trained a cannon. Ready? Yeah. Squish. Hey, look, 3.9 war score. You like that? He didn't that even sense. He didn't even merge it with the primary stack. 
He's just Why like because <laughs> an instant squish clearly is uh, better somehow. Oh, our forts in Frankfurt and Ulm are flipping the lands that Venice sieged back to us. That's fantastic. So he just came in, he looted for a week, and then he left. That works. Okay, Enzo. there goes. There we go. I think we're ready for peace. Nope, not yet. One more siege. Okay. Aw, there goes the 20% oh. morale modifier from the... Uh... Bohemia's going to attack this army. They, definitely. Go get him, Bohemia. We lost our 20% morale mod from oh, that. Let's just watch. Do you, you want to engage this battle? No. But we wouldn't even be the primary. We could just join in in the back backfield. Okay. And get some prestige out of it. Nah, we don't need prestige. 97 prestige, Shen. Oh, but it's it's the it's the planes. Of course, we want to fight here. And uh, Bohemia rolled two zeros in a row. That's good. <laughs> it's okay. Burgundy just rolled a zero as well. Yeah. So far, we're yes. not even. None of our armies are in a position to actually lose troops. Who is this? Cologne. Cologne actually joined the fight. Yeah. Good job, Cologne. I think we can stack weapon. Yeah. You can't uh, really retreat very far. No. Let's just let let's just let Bohemia do it. I think Bohemia is following our armies around. Oh, there goes Picardy. That's it. Okay, so 86. we're looking for humiliate, take a province. Let's see, the only person that would coalition us is Trier. That's fine. And war wraps. If we take 220, we can get uh, 113 for 0.13 inflation. Is that worth it? Uh, oh, we can get ducats? I like ducats. Yeah, we have 50% participation, so. All right. Want me to send the offer? Sure, go ahead. Uh, now, we need to keep our war going, remember. We need right, to... We're coring Mets. We need to think of another BS war. In case this war ends. Okay, what kind of BS war would you like? I think Alsis is good, because we have a claim on it, and his only ally is Hungary and Liege. We Neither... can beat Liege, and Hungary won't join. No, Liege won't join right now either. Okay, there's our bullshit war. Do you want to start it now? Or just wait? Just wait. Unless you want to eat all this. We can eat all this. Nah, it's 29 development. Whoa! When did they get 29 development? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's that's kind of a lot. We just gained 5 unrest in Bruno. That's okay, though, because uh -huh. it's, it's still negative. Yeah, your capital's never really going to have positive unrest. Unless you really screw up. Yeah, like 15 war exhaustion screw up, basically. That would never happen. Oh, no. Like in the beginning of our campaign when we got like 10 or 12. <laughs> that was natural though. All natural unrest. It's good for you. Yeah. Think so? Oh, by the way, did you ever move our trade capital? I don't think you did. I did not. We can't do it when we're at war. We've been at war pretty much constantly. Well, it's because we have to keep on chaining all these BS wars just to avoid attrition. Austria Sorry, has avoid... next his vassal. I'm going to fabricate on over faults. Another fort. Yeah, I think in the war with Austria, we just take three forts and then make him release somebody. Three forts. That is mm -hmm. going to cost... That's going to be a coalition. Not if we get our AE down. Let me see what the development is. Let's see. Memmingen is 12 development. Yeah, we're six Lanschut years out. is 12 development. And over faults is 17. That's only 41 development. That's not that much. And we have like six years till France would join a war, and we're recovering 3.3 .3 aggressive expansion per year, so six, that's 20 war, 20, we're going to lose about 20 aggressive expansion if we do nothing else. So we'll have okay. 20 with most countries. Mm. So that's going to be, well, we also got to factor in how long the war will take, which be, what, three to Correct. five years? Probably, and you got to factor in that Austria won't be able to coalition us because he'll be at truce with us. And True. if he won't join, then maybe no one else will even consider it. Okay. If we do nothing else, then yeah, I think we can do that. By the way, we are ahead of time still, and we have nearly capped diplomacy. I know. I know. This guy won't die. He's 70 years old. 70. Good news is that when he dies, um, because we're still a republic, we shouldn't lose stability when he dies. Is that right? Republican potato chips don't lose stability? No. Not on Ruler Death. Okay. So that means that we will have enough stability to immediately take the decision to uh, become a, uh, a theology. You know, we've been talking about becoming a, th a theology 
for seven episodes here, and it just hasn't happened because this guy won't die. Yeah. I mean, I, we can't complain. He's a 666. He's a ruler for life. We can complain, but, Shen. I'm going to ally yeah. Holland. Okay. It's our mission. And we need to cancel military access through the edge. I'll do, I'll do that. I got it. Done. No, I did oh, it. Oh, you did it. You screwed up my interface. Good job. It's uh -huh. all gone. The so interface sick. is gone. How does that even happen? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, we have a mission to vassalize all sauce. Um, that would make it a lot less. No, that doesn't lower the cost on war exhaustion. I mean, on aggressive expansion. It just makes it cheaper for peace deal. Yeah, so we'd still be looking at a lot of war exhaustion. I don't, I don't want that vassal anyway. I'd rather just eat the land. It's our cult. It's our culture. Yeah, Swabian is our culture. No cores or claims, so what's the point? He is an elector. It's giving us a mission to vassalize an elector. <laughs> oh, look at the empire. Look who they're voting for. What now? Burgundy? What? <laughs> Why? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. It's their Anton one point. Alexander. They're one point ahead of Austria for Trier and Saxony. I don't understand why they're voting for Burgundy. Burgundy's not even in the Empire. Oh, yeah, he is in the Empire. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah, he is. Burgundy's in the Empire. His capital's in the Empire. When did this happen? I don't know, Because oh, his capital's in Cambrai. That's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I would love to see Burgundy Emperor. He's got to be the weakest emperor ever. Tech up. Are you ready for admin tech? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Now we're ahead of time on all tech. We've finished three whole idea groups, which is 21. Austria has five ideas. We have 21. France has 17. They're doing pretty well, too. How's his tech, though? France? He's pretty uh, good, yeah. 446 leader with a 444 heir. Yeah. France be France. Isn't it, isn't it nice to be a lucky nation? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. It seems pretty good. Would you rather lose 138 ducats or 100 diplo points? Um, take diplo a low. right now. Really, you take? Yeah, I mean, we're so far ahead. I I was actually kind of leaning that way too. We okay. have a loan, don't we? Oh, we repaid our loan. Okay, it's good. Yep. Do All right, need, why don't we call it here then? Do we need full maintenance right now? No. Uh, who, we're we're with Venice, but Venice only has eight troops. We're done. We're good. France is crushing Castile right now, who's also in our war. So okay. that's fine. Yeah. Just lower this, maintenance. Chill yeah. for a while. Second French Argonese trade war. They cited trade as the reason for war. That's so dumb. I'm pretty sure they're going to take some land here. That, but why would they cite trade? <laughs> because they don't have religious day as full. That's why. Even if they did, a they're, both, they're both AIB Catholic. Lazy. Shen, they're, lazy. they're both Catholic. Oh, why are they Catholic? We should make France Protestant. How do you we do that? I don't know. We should we should be able to send if we if we're not able to convert anything like right now, we should be able to send missionaries to four nations to try to convince them to convert. So like you can in CK too. True. How's our core looking? Thirty five point three. It's pretty slow. Look at Novgorod. He just took a whole bunch of land from Kazan. I just like looking at Muscovy's cores. <laughs> yeah. Oh oh careful, careful. We're at peace and we have a uh Unlawful territory. Okay, so let's declare on all this. Yeah, I think we declare and we just uh, we just do nothing really. Hungary would join against us. Whatever. Ah, oh, three reasons. Wow. It's is fine. there someone? Is there someone else we could declare on? Yeah, we can declare on Trier. Oh, but wow! Let's just, let's just declare on Trier, and we can convert them to Protestant. Yeah, sounds good to me. All right, let's go fight that fight real quick, and then we can take a break. <laughs> oh, goodness. We don't need maintenance. Morale no. for that. See, this time, the army... Look at... I don't get this. Look, look, they... This time, three infantry matched up perfectly, and then the cav are right there to flank. Yep, looks why, fine. Why did it do it that way this time? I don't know. But, yeah, that's a squish. All right, lead us out. No. No. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what is that Spanish thing from? What is that? You always say it. No, Mr. Superman is not here. Yeah, what is that from? It's from Family Guy. 
I see. Right, can you lead us out? Okay, now I can. I just had to get the army squared away. Okay. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. Same tech time. Like Shen says. Same channel. Bye, see everybody. See you soon. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Policies. Yeah. All right, never mind. All right, Bye. See, see you tomorrow.